everybody. You have found what to play next. We're bringing everything to this awesome in gaming. Um, this is Mad Shot. So it's clearly in... They're, they're still building it. I wanted to get my hands on it because I love this graphic style. Um, I like bringing you stuff that's new. And this is some... It hasn't taken the world by storm, but it's working on it. Um, so this is kind of in beta. They're working on it. Grabbed it right off of, I think, Alpha Beta Gamer. Groveling beneath the floorboards. <gasps> we have a plot twist off the drop. What is this here? Let's circle the circle the plot twist with me. Oh, and we're getting skippy. For those unburdened by childish notions of morality. Um, it's either early access or beta. This so. time, I will see them break. But what they did is they did the skinning that we're seeing that's so popular. Where it takes two dimensional, it makes it look three dimensional in the way that simulation games do. Only it does it for an FPS, and it does it with a um, comic book style. So I absolutely loved it. I love the graphic style, and I wanted to check out how that would play. Um, I pay a little bit less attention to things like they have it to where my graphics parser, which kicks butt and takes names, um, can do something. So, roll is shift. Um, they had like pick up in here. Hold on, pick up. Let's see if we can make this work. Uh, pick up. Okay. That's actually the right key. But thank you. Um, so there's more interaction. Um, I like to encourage people who are working on this sort of thing, because you have like dying light and everything, which is way, way more polished. Um, and then you have a game like this. Okay, so I can do two double wall jumps, which is actually experiment experimenting with game mechanics. So I will be a lot more forgiving in how that mechanic works if I know that they're doing it. Um, so one of these and then I don't know if I can grab just yet they have walk up uh, that's a new one previously metroidvanias would um, require that you uh, for instance jump they just ignored that <laughs> so you know obviously we want this we want that sort of evolution where you're using the full keyboard um, because in the arcade we had that um, you had like, uh, for instance, even in what was the last good one, The Simpsons, uh, you had where um, you had a full full array like in a game controller. Recent Metroidvanias have been kind of holding back in that you have a jump and shoot function. Nice layout. Um, I can pick my rooms. It's very common in Lovecraft, and where they like to give you this nested appeal. I think it's just because that's how Lovecraft reads. Um, the stories are so diverse that um, they just kind of do that. <laughs> Hard to explain. Uh, he shares his world, so you don't have to, you know, um, you don't have to go into his um, canon. You just have to stick with his lore. That was an interesting side effect of Lovecraft. Is he opened up this concept that was used again in the Thieves world with incredibly popular um, it creates incredibly popular co-op um, where writers form groups um, and they kind of share different um, oh that's good uh, okay so a little bit hard to look fancy that's difficult um, not much in the way of NPC interaction that would have been a great spot traditionally in a metroidvania that one's a little bit tough. Uh, walking up is just very clutch. You know, obviously a missing, missing game mechanic. I'm apparently mostly just killing enough enemies here. Uh, he needs to get it so that his character can turn right a little bit more functionally. All right, do we open a portal now? No, we did not. Um, the characters, the monster, is very engaging. Uh, I definitely feel like I'm looking at a bestiary come to life, so that's awesome. I just felt, you know, especially for what appears to be an indie dub team, 
that they did an incredible job. Um, I like to find them early and follow their development. Um, so, a little bit of polish on this one. Might not be their first game. There we go. We have the portal, so now we can proceed to the next board. Um, some sort of a reward or something on here? An alteration. I'm afraid to change the game. So we'll go in and we'll see if we can't get our alteration. I will generally allow them to gather data off my computer that might have caused the hiccup, just as a disclaimer on their part. Uh, you can obviously get fancy with your um, shooting here, where you pick things up and throw them, so you can do like combo kind of stuff. So that'll be fun later on when I actually get good with the controls. Um, as far as a Metroidvania goes, they're doing a lot of up and down. I don't know if it'll wash in that genre. Um, but it is how it's set up. Um, as previously mentioned, you require a hard fork on your mouse to switch directions, um, along with the WASD feature. Ooh, I got a boss fight already? Go home. I have a home option? Try again. What happens if I go home? Let's check it out. Cool, so that's the grind. What's this? I can just practice the things. That's what I mean about the, you know, it's nice that they have that. You do inspect. The menu is still under construction, come back later. This is where you change your ultimate ability. Nice. So I'm functioning out of, of a rundown matter. That's, you know. Alright, slot cost. Uh, you can bump up here. So you have a work table. Um. Head back into the grind. I feel like it wiped out that area, so it's gonna have me run through something different. Um, my objective. Not the most observant of people who I'm busy shooting. Um, I have a tendency to look around a lot, and it does this funny thing. Um, if I'm trying to narrate, because I'll indicate things with my nose. Could not ob more obviously have been in this from the beginning. Um, I do whack things like indicate things with my nose. Um, that throws off my aim when I'm actually looking for like what's going on in the game. So um, it's cool because I continue to narrate. <laughs> like, that does, you know, give you some bonus guidance if you happen to be looking at my face during the middle of a fight. It's handy. Um, I love that you can grab onto things. That is such a cool... You see it in every fight scene, you know? It's not just this fight scene, it's every fight scene where you really just feel that you should be able to do that. I want to dangle from things and shoot. It's you want to dangle from things. Let's hook up and make this happen. <gasps> right into his icker. Um, nice shielding effects. It makes me feel very Smash Brothers, you know, that I can pick those up. And whether or not they buff me, it just gives that vibe. So... That's hot. Um, oh, and I got my prize. Okay, so hold on. Let's, what are we doing here? Can't jump up there. Gotta go here. Swing my way up. Uh, I do a little bit in the way of acrobatics when I do that, so that's nice. I can wall slide that, but that's it. Hold on. Why is it all of a sudden... Oh, because I have to double jump it. I was going to say, why is it all of a sudden... Oh, I grabbed it with my feet that time. You know, all these things and more. Seed. Cool! So this is awesome. Um, basic, basic, basic things. Just done very well. Uh, graphics stuff done very well. Um, simple things like upgrading, um, upgrading, adding on uh, previously tested material, like swinging from things, or like um, being able to grab things. It's not traditional in a Metroidvania. It's just not. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't want that, you know? Like, I think a lot of devs are so into traditionalism that they go in and they think it's like learning to code, where when you code, you have to do it a certain way, and that's not the case. We love innovation. We want that out of, you know, our beloved genres. It's a real thing. So, um, link in the description below. Check that out. Also down there is Gamer Grind. Um, Gamer Coffee delivered to your door. So that's awesome. We love them. Um, you can put your logo on their merch. Coffee, K-O-F-I. It is a social... 
So um, check the link in the description below for Gamer Grind. Um, we love the fact that we found the next Jolt Cola. Um, hey, we found Bethesda Softworks and helped launch that. So like you heard it here first. Thank you for coming along for the ride. This is what to play next. Make sure that you've hit the subscribe button, like, comment if you want to talk gaming. Um, and like I said, check out Gamer Grind. We, we love that we partner with them. We love that they're supportive of the streamers. We will see you in the next video. And as always, much love. <laughs>